Good morning everyone, happy Monday. I decided I would try to vlog this week. Uh, today is Monday, August 20th and it is 6.11. Normally I would leave a little bit earlier but I have my goddaughter with me today. She actually attends the school that I teach at so she spent the night last night and I'm taking her with me to work. So, um, not a lot of exciting things have been going on just me being super busy and like crazy. I got my ring fixed, as some of you guys may know. Uh, it came unsoldered last school year. So I got it fixed and then I just put on some press on nails because I was struggling trying to find time to get my nails done in addition to planning, YouTubing, working out, everything under the sea and so I figured press on nails is better because I don't have to go anywhere nothing it's just one less thing so I have all my bags packed and yes I said all my bags because if you're a teacher then you understand that you are also labeled as the bag lady so let's let's explore these bags and see what's in them shall we first bag lunch bag meaning there's water in there, an ice pack, and some crappy food that I threw together because I need to go to the grocery store. Second bag, gym bag. I am going to the real actual gym today because my husband said, if you'll go with me, I will get you a membership that has a childcare center. So we're going to Mountainside Fitness. If you guys go to Mountainside Fitness, give me a thumbs up. My purse, which has like literally five things in it. I probably could just throw those five things in my teacher bag, but I don't because I am stupid. <laughs> and then of course my teacher bag, which has my school computer, my planner, and then my teacher math edition. I love this one. It says, teacher life got me feeling like hey hey. This was actually from Aiden and Mandy last year as a teacher appreciation gift and it is adorable. Well, my goddaughter and I are gonna go to Starbucks this morning. That's why we're leaving so early. And then I do have some things to prep when I get to school. So I'll show you what those things are. And I just realized how long my hair is getting. I have it up just cause I was doing my makeup and stuff, but it is getting super long. I'm getting ready to get it done in a couple weeks, so remember back in the day when my hair was like kind of darker at the top? Okay, well, I'm going back to that because, again, one more thing that I don't have to do. My hair is naturally a dirty blonde, so I'm going to get my dirty blonde roots to come back. That way I don't have to go to the hair salon anymore. Baby's sleeping right in the same room as her. Well, next door. So anyways, we'll see you at school. What is it? Oh, it's a bookmark. You want it? Yeah. Cuteness, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so we're in the classroom. We've been busy this morning. We got things all set up for the day. Got my morning slide up. I got my schedule changed. I have my date up there. I've got my anchor charts ready to go and made. And then I have my math centers created. So I'm gonna have, um, 12 students on computers today during intervention, and then six kids on each one of these centers for like 10 minutes each center. And um, that's it. We've got breakfast ready to go. Bell's gonna ring in like two minutes, so I'm hauling butt trying to get a vlog moment in here. Ajali's here. Thank you, Ajali, for cutting my stuff. Welcome. Thank you. Um, and yeah, we're all set, I think. I need to put my kids into groups for intervention, but for this week, we're just gonna progress monitor and like get a list of who needs what when. So I don't think intervention's really gonna be that intentional yet, but it will be. So yeah, Ajali, you ready to have a great day? Yeah. She's such a turd. I love you though. I'm waiting for my, I love you too. I love you too. Thank you. Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna put gloss on yet. I got this lip gloss from Sephora Buxom. It's got that plumping stuff in it. Oh yeah, okay, Bell just rang. Gotta go get my children. It's like what, 108 degrees today is the high? And we have an outdoor school, so we have to walk around outside. Okay, bye, I love you. Bye. Okay, peace. 
Hey guys, so per usual, by the end of the day, my hair is up because it is so hot here that I just cannot stand it being down. So it is afternoon recess time and the kids are out for another seven minutes. So I wanted to show you guys, the cubbies look really messy right now, but I promise you at the end of every day, they look really good. Um, but that's because we've been using them in and out all day long. So I did move the binders from in the cubbies up to the top because they've been really difficult to use in addition to the book bins. So what I'm probably going to do is use the binders as a storage place for a uh, past like like corrected work um, and a place where they can store things. But I am I did take the notebooks out of them because I want them to keep those in their book bin and then I'm going to have them take their math book out of their book bin and keep it under their book bin in their cubby because it's really hard for them to move from place to place with a book bin and a binder. So I've just got them stored up here for now and that's just how it's gonna work. I might end up going to a Walmart and getting a couple more of these crates just to kind of separate them by number. So we're about to do autobiographies. So I actually had pulled all of their writing notebooks out and I'm gonna pass those out. We've done rounding and I've got about 50-50 right now of kids who really get it and kids that really don't. So I think I'm just gonna spend tomorrow um, on rounding to the nearest hundreds and then I'm gonna spend the rest of the week just making sure that I have clear understanding of rounding. Rounding is one of those topics that's just never like even in fourth grade, they still don't get it. So uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but I also don't want them to move on without having like sort of an understanding. And right now all of my students understand to circle the digit that we're doing, to circle the digit of the place value we're rounding and underline the one to the right. So that's a good start. If we can have that narrowed down, then we're good to go. So I'm gonna go pick my kids up. We're gonna finish off the day with writing. We're gonna start autobiographies and then it will be the end of the day. Thanks for hanging in there today, guys. It's been a wild one. I'm still trying to get organized. Third grade is definitely different than fourth grade and I really want to reflect at the end of my day today. So stay tuned. I'll probably see you in like literally a second. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day. Hold on, I'm gonna shut my door so I don't get caught vlogging. All right, so it's the end of the day and my teammate and I are reflecting on our lives. <laughs> and I've decided that this transition from fourth grade to third grade is insane and I love them. I like love their age level and like how sweet they are and funny and they're not naughty and like gross but their ability level is so much lower than I'm used to and I'm struggling so yeah if any of you third grade teachers out there have some advice for me please comment it down below because I need advice so I'm struggling with my life today guys <laughs> it's a transition so like I said, third grade teachers, if you've been doing it for a while, I even talked to Jennifer and she said just, you know, go really slow and don't dumb it down for them because you need to have high expectations, but definitely like take it slow. And I feel like I'm taking it really slow, but I'd like how much slower can I get? So third grade teachers, enter your advice down below. Thank you very much. Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday. So I am just in my classroom and I'm getting things ready for the day. So I wanted to share with you a little snippet about what I do for my center time. So I usually have my students rotating daily. I don't have them rotate throughout the day, but I have them work on one thing each day. So I might go into more detail about this in another video, but last year Jennifer gave me the idea to have my students rotate every day instead of during the day, if that makes sense. So over here, so over here I have my center bins and basically they're separated by math and ELA and my math centers I actually purchased from Jennifer Finley on Teachers Pay Teachers and I love them because they're low prep. All I have to do is copy them on colored paper and then cut them out and I do have an aid that will cut them out for me. For the most part, they're pretty simple to cut. 
there is a couple that are more difficult and those are like the puzzle pieces but for the most part they're just cards so basically what i'll do is i'll have a student like okay you're going to be on math center one today those students would come over they would read the directions on the card and then they would grab their recording sheet and then these place these um playing cards or whatever the pieces are they stay in the bucket and every time a student needs a new one they come over and get a new one and then put the one they were using back for the most part what i've been planning to do because i haven't used these with my students yet we're actually going to use them today but I would say, okay, if you're working on Mass Center 1, you're going to be at this table. So I would actually just keep the center on this table, and then that way they don't have to get up from here, go over there, and come back. So any student that is working on Center 1 would be here. That way they can also collaborate quietly to work on the center. And then, so they would work on this. So our math intervention time is about 25 minutes. And so I think that that's plenty of time to get as many as they can done. I don't expect them to get every single one finished. And these copied really weird. They should have been black and white, but um, I think they came out on orange paper, so I had to just copy them that way. But same thing for these. So these three are math centers. And then for um, ELA centers, same kind of thing, except for these are summarizing. So these are um, ELA task cards. And... My ELA centers are totally different every day, so they have a writing center, which is from Pocketful of Primary, and I use the monthly writing prompts. And then they have a task card center each week. They'll have a vocabulary center each week. And I am starting to think about what I'm using for vocab. I'm probably gonna do something from Rooted in Reading if we're doing Rooted in Reading that week. And then they also read to self, and respond in their reading response journals. And these are from Teach, Create, Motivate. And basically I just sliced these composition notebooks in half. My neighbor actually did them for me using a table saw. So I have one for reading response journals and one for math vocabulary books. And so basically I copied the expectations and the actual menus really teeny tiny so they can keep them in there and then they respond every day. Usually it's one or two boxes and I'm choosing the boxes right now. And since we've been working on summarizing, the box that I usually choose is box number seven and box number seven on fiction or nonfiction. So depending on what they're reading. So every week they have a task card center, a writing center, read to self, and then they will have a vocab center. And then on Fridays, it's going to be ketchup and pickles. So this seems to be going well so far. And then in their math vocabulary books, we just literally write down vocabulary. And then I give them like an example. So today we're actually gonna be filling in rounding and they're gonna just write down the actual steps to rounding so that they have them in their math vocabulary books. And they keep these in their book bins, which, I have my own so that I can be a model for them. And they keep those in their book bins and then when they're done with their reading response journals, they actually turn them in to this inbox. So I have two inboxes, one is for paper, one is for journals. So that's what I've been doing with small groups and centers. And like I said, I might do like a really more in-depth video about centers, but I wanted to just quickly explain what I've been kind of doing. And um, also during math intervention, students are either working on a math center for the day, or they're on Prodigy, or they're finishing up independent practice, or they're with me at the back table. So I got to go to duty in a few minutes. So I'm going to go. Good morning guys, so I just walked into my classroom and today is actually my birthday and I'm here at school ready to teach. So I just walked in the door and the first thing I'm going to do is just get my schedule ready for today. It is Wednesday so I don't have a special this morning so instead of going to special I would do um, and it is early release. So whatever I'll normally do at the end of the day, I'll like move it up to when we do specials. So instead of doing specials today, we're going to do writing.
Okay, so the schedule is ready to go. And so now, like I said, I'm just gonna organize my things for next week and then get everything ready for the rest of the day. Hey guys, so it's Thursday, it's after school. I definitely did not vlog today, but it's fine. So a parent just came in and brought me this lovely gift. Thank you so much. I got some balloons yesterday, so many cute little sweet things. So I'm getting ready to leave, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I vlogged a little bit today. And um, I moved a couple things around. So I put my black Ikea stools under my desk because I had some kiddos that continually were rocking in them and I just don't want them to break and I don't want my students to fall. So I ended up having enough chairs to have four kiddos, uh, four chairs under here available if students wanted to sit there. This desk is meant for standing, but I also have a lot of kids that prefer just sitting in a chair at a table. Um, so I put those there. I took one away from here, so now this is three seats. And I do have an aide that comes in during reading intervention. So she sits here and works with uh, students, either one-on-one -on -one or a couple at a time. So I thought that this would be a perfect setup for her. I've got her little bin there that she works from, and then a chair, and she likes to sit across from students. So I put two there. And then I have, I still have room for five at my table. So when I'm doing small groups, I usually have five at a time. And then I think I might have to go to Walmart and buy a new black ottoman because this one is so jacked up. The For some reason, I don't know how, but last year the frame came out. So like there's no frame on this um, ottoman. So it has to be sat on like diagonally and I just don't like that it could possibly break. So I just made some room adjustments and that is everything. Um, I'm still learning a lot about third grade and things that I need to improve on, things that I need to do management wise and make sure I have ready to go every day, every week. I did also open up my windows over here. They were closed, but I had some things that I wanted to put up in the window. So I did that today. And then I also organized my intervention table. So I have my supply caddy here. And in it, I just have scissors because I do a lot of cutting out at my back table. I have my light switch, which I actually need to hang back up because this is usually on when I'm working with students and the kids know not to bug me. And then I also have pencils sharpened and they have little flags on them. So these are the, t uh, the pencils that stay at my table. And if I see this pencil, I'll know that it's been stolen from my table. I also have enough highlighters here for everyone at the group, including me, for close reading. And then down below in this thingy here to the left. I was planning on putting math manipulatives, things that I'm using for small group. So right now I just have big number lines and paper clips and this is for helping with rounding. And then, so as I use stuff, I'll add it in there. And then I also have some reading stuff. So I have some like um, little cards. I think these are actually for, I'm not sure, but these were from the last class that I had. So anything that I'm going to use for reading is going to go in here. And then in this one, I have all of my special read aloud books because I noticed when I had them out, my students were like going over there to read them. And I don't mind that they read them, but the covers are already getting ruined and I just want to hide them away and 
they have to ask and like check it out. And then here I have whiteboards, markers, and erasers for my small group table. So when we're doing anything with whiteboards and markers, I have enough in here for myself and then six people in case I wanna pull six. So I have all my small group materials here in this little cabinet. And then I have like other things over there that like don't matter. But I thought it would be nice to have everything just kind of like behind my, excuse me, my small group table so that it's easily accessible and I don't have to get up. And so that's what I've been focusing on. I have a to-do list going for tomorrow morning when I get here and for Monday morning when I get here. I am gonna take my computer home tonight because my husband is working this evening. So once I get the baby to sleep, I am going to do some planning and um, that's usually when I do it, is at nights when my husband's not home because I literally have nothing else to do. So I'm gonna go home and I'm just gonna end this vlog here because I feel like it's already really, really long and I need to edit and so, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this week. I'm fingers crossed hoping I can get lots more vlogging done. Now that I have kind of like a groove and I'm a little bit more ahead than I thought I was gonna be. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at apples and tiaras and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.